Hey party people, Andrew here at SHOT 2024, hanging out with Eric with the Breakthrough Clean Technologies booth. You've got a can cleaner. Yes, or sir. Or suppressor cleaner or something. Yeah, man, absolutely. Like our patch says, says we love clean cans. So yeah, so I'd like to introduce you to our suppressor cleaner, brand new for 2024. Uh, and this is actually a suppressor cleaning kit, to be more specific. We did a mid launch on our suppressor cleaner, and we thought that, you know, why have people fundle around for other products? Uh, well, we could just offer a kit that is all encompassing. Uh, we got the packaging right here. You know, the kit comes with a 16 ounce size of our suppressor cleaner, a handy dandy tube to pour the product in. Fifth most standard suppressors. It does not come with the suppressor as many would like it to be, but um, all it does include a couple of brushes and a suppressor pick. Use, it, uh, use is simple. You're gonna pour, put this bad boy in there. You're gonna fill this up. You're gonna close it. You're gonna let it soak for about eight to 24 hours. Let it do its thing. Once done, you're gonna take it out. This is gonna be completely full and black. It's gonna break down all the carb and the lead, the copper that's built in that suppressor. You're gonna use a pick, you're gonna take it out, give it a couple of shakes, put it back on the can, on the firearm, and then shoot. So that's gonna loosen everything up and get all the gunk out of the suppressor. So shooting it immediately after is actually an important part of the cleaning steps? Yeah, well the baffles don't allow for all the particulars to get out on their own. It will loosen it up, you're gonna get a lot of the light uh, particulars out, but the heavier stuff, you gotta shoot it out. It needs a little bit of more, more energy to do that. So, and this is the uh, lemon lime flavored? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, we, uh, we put together a virtually odorless formula that's safe to use, it's non-toxic, not carcinogenic, um, it's a water-based chemistry, so it has detergents and surfactants to help loosen uh, the bond that the carbon has with the metal. Um, it's safe on aluminum, uh, titanium, and steel. Um, it also what comes about with finishes, a like anodizing and all that. Well, we don't recommend. Uh, well, anodizing is not going to do anything, but serocoding, coating, um, we rec we don't recommend the soak because it may damage a little bit of the. Okay, so th there the are yeah. some finishes it might not. Yeah, um, correct. Right. All right, but the metal, the bare metal on yeah, underneath safe, is going to be fine. Correct. Yeah, okay. it's safe on all the bare metal. Uh, we also add a little bit of rusty corrosion inhibitors just for a little bit of added protection okay. to the chemistry. So mm -hmm. one of the things I was talking with your colleague off camera about is. The obvious concern here is there's there's a home remedy, often called the dip, which involves hydrogen peroxide and right. vinegar or acetic acid. Mm -hmm. That results in um, the chemistry of that converts the lead, the um, elemental lead, into a lead salt. I don't remember right. okay. what, what type of lead salt it is, but it can. Um, it can pass through the skin barrier. Right. Uh, the, what results from that is extremely hazardous to even handle. You don't even want to right. touch the right. liquid afterwards. Yeah. Uh, your colleague was saying none of that's going to happen here. That yeah. Of course, it's going to break up some lead, and you do have to exercise some caution in how you dispose of it. Correct. But it's not going to make your kids to grow a third eye just because yeah. you touch it. It will not. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. yeah. I'm obviously, you're probably not going to want to talk too much about the chemistry of the product because mm -hmm. that's your literally your special sauce. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what can you tell us about it? Uh, it well, doesn't have any hydrogen peroxide or vinegar in it. It does right? not, yeah. Uh, we do have a safety data sheet with all that information on it for a little bit more in-depth look. But the safety data sheet, uh, which is available um, uh, upon request, um, does have the uh, toxicity information on the product, and you're gonna see it doesn't have any hazard warnings or labels uh, required. So. Okay, don't drink it. Do not drink it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But would, otherwise, generally safe to handle. It's not gonna hurt you if it gets on your skin. No, it will not, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. pretty cool. The brushes here, of course, are not to ram through the whole thing. This is to clean the bath, blast Correct. chamber and uh, mating surfaces. Yes, yeah. So they fit. Nicely in here, got a couple. You got a nylon one and a slightly larger uh, seal one. But you can see, you know, kind of get that gunk out. And that's what, it, mainly what these brushes are for. Going through a, a few of our other products, but uh, launching for 2024, where our new line of aerosols is our military grade solvent, a uh, all-in-one uh, clear, uh, a phenomenal product, great rust and corrosion inhibitors, not uh, odorless and non-toxic, our dry lube, and a foamy board cleaner using our Carbon Pro technology. Um, brand new, coming out, really excited about these products. And additionally, 
I have a few gunsmithing items, a couple of new products. Uh, got a board guide, a pivot lock, and a lower vice block that I'd like to go over with you. For me, the board guide's pretty simple. Attach it here, take it out. You're able to put the pivot lock, which locks it in place, and attach it to your lower pin right here. If you don't want to use a board guide, not a problem. This will fit into the upper, also attach it to the pin, and you're good to go if you want to do any cleaning or maintenance on the firearm as well. Now, one cool feature about our lower vice block, uh, let me pop this out right here. Clicks on just like a regular mag, locks in place. Um, I have this handy dandy feature, you're gonna pop out of here, put it in here, and now you got a oh, nice. trigger from uh, for any maintenance that you want to do, you want to damage the trigger while fire. Yeah, if you drop a hammer on yes, a, a lower with the upper pivoted out of the way, mm -hmm. you do that enough and you can cause the Correct. receiver to yeah. crack a little bit mm -hmm. or damage the, the bolt hold of it. Yes, sir. You got that. Awesome. So yep. this is a 223 caliber uh, bore rope here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that'll, uh, will not fit. <laughs> it won't fit? Yeah. So that, that's actually a 40, um, 40, 40 millimeter? millimeter for your anti-riot um, gun. So. Awesome. Launchers, not guns. Jeez. <laughs> All right. All right. That's about it. That's what we got for 2024. Two products. So, well, Eric, yeah. thank you for having me. Thank you for, for putting up with my nonsense and a answering my stupid questions. Oh, no question stupid. <laughs> yeah, of course, man. My thank pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. I love you.